Hello, good morning. Uh, this morning, literally good morning, Britain um, instance, a spectacular example of intellectual aggression. Uh, indeed, I suspect much of the editing and interviewing technique is predicated on this, uh, the sort of thing that Piers Morgan did effortlessly, um, that, that his replacements find rather harder to do. Um, anyway, there was a section where the excellent Ryan Mark Parsons was pitted against a social commentator called Joanna Jargi. Now, Joanna hardly got a chance to say more than a half a sentence before she was cut off and shunted off camera. And thankfully, Ryan Mark was forthright and explosive. Um, but he was also uh, cut off. Um, why? Because this is all about Richard Maidley, I suppose. Um, <laughs> I happen to agree with Ryan Mark, uh, and I love the way that he comes across. But um, his argument is lessened by uh, the TV programme that cuts off his opponent. If you want a proper argument, you have to have, you have to hear both sides. Um, and I'm not sure that Joanna actually was strong enough to be pitted against Ryan Mark. As for his stance on uh, vaccines and social distancing, um, indeed, uh, I'm, I'm sure he shares these with Tom Cruise, um, and I'd like to see the two of them together. Tom Cruise, I today, uh, the, the, the filming on Mission Impossible 7 has been halted because somebody has tested positive. So for all the expletives and all the efforts to maintain filming with social distancing, that fails. Um, but I agree with Ryan Mark that if younger people hold out against the vaccine, um, this will encourage uh, further incubation of COVID-19 and the growth of non-resistant COVID strains. Uh, Ryan Mark's stance um, is to uh, what, what does he say? He, he, he wants to cut off the people who aren't actually going to go along with the vaccines. It's not a bad way to make a point, and it's a clear statement, and it, it, it's passionate. Um, but at the same time as agreeing with Ryan Mark, I also wholeheartedly agree with Lord Sumption, uh, who is equally passionate uh, and here's a campaigner for liberty. He's really on the other side. And he's a former Supreme Court judge. I, I would have liked to have seen um, Ryan Mark go up against Lord Sumption. Now, there you would have had an interesting exchange. It, it would have been entertaining because Ryan Mark is all passion and emotion. And Lord Sumption, despite the passion, is all intellectual rigour. Um, now... Lord Sumption, despite the intellectual rigour and despite his position, has actually had both vaccines. Um, and um, what, he, what, what he does today in an article is to condemn the government's lockdown strategy completely. Um, and he says that this was a shambles, which it demonstrably has been. My personal view is that we should... We should have locked down at the first opportunity um, or we should have found another way. Locking down late was simply an invitation, a recipe for disaster. Uh, and he also accurately sums up, he's a, he's a great character reader, he, he sums up uh, Dominic Cummings as dictatorial and says that uh, Boris Johnson is um, intellectually lazy. I don't think we could doubt in any... Well, Dominic Cummings has already uh, said that uh, he thinks dictatorship is preferable in certain situations, in, in this situation. Um, so a decision has been made about vaccines. It may, it may be wrong. A decision was made about lockdown. It may be wrong. Um, and the costs may be astronomical. Uh, but we need to deal with the reality and not with some fictional 
take on what might have been, the maybe, what if. Now, um, if the lockdowns have not worked, or if we keep feeling that we need to constantly be locking down, we also have to think of better alternatives that will work. And one of them, I think, is the universal vaccine, but it's only going to work if it's universally rolled out. It's, only go it's not going to be remotely efficacious if everyone doesn't take it. Um, like lockdown, like social distancing, um, this is not really about protecting me, it's about protecting other people. Um, and, and, and I think the idea of flattening the curve is perhaps the wrong imagery to be using here as well. What we need to do is squash the disease and the only way to do that is to have a universal take up on the approach that we're following. Now on this point, uh, we, we, we move to something more philosophical because we may believe something is wrong. Uh, we may even make the argument passionately against it. But then, if we are part of the system, we have to go along with the system as far as we can. Um, and um, this, after all, is the example of uh, Socrates, who took the hemlock, even though he made the case... Um, uh, he, he made the case uh, that, that, that he shouldn't have been um, found guilty, but he took the hemlock because he was part of the system. That's the defence. Now, of course, it's perfectly possible um, to say, well, I don't accept the system, in which case you have to leave the system. Now, there are various ways to leave the system. Um, you, you know, you, you have to be judged by history. Um, we can think at the moment of... Uh, Navalny in prison, or, or Protasevich, um, and I'll come back to uh, these maybe tomorrow. I think I, 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 th I think I think we need to have a look at um, uh, this in more detail. But uh, uh, Protasevich and Navalny, we know their position, uh, and in a way, it's for history to judge their decisions and their rejection of the regimes, uh, the respective regimes, in which they find themselves. Um, now, uh, I think that in the West, we may make the argument against lockdown, we may make the argument against vaccines, but actually our system pr promotes both uh, the lockdown and the vaccines, and until that changes, we should follow them. Uh, so anyway, um, a, li a little bit today about intellectual rigour and about um, intellectual bullying. So the bullying on television, the rigour, um, badly in want um, from um, uh, um, uh, in, in, in number 10 Downing Street, clearly. Um, but it's not something we should, we should lightly abandon. Um, we should be able to hold two views at the same time, even if they're conflicting. We should be able to see the value in both. And we should be in a position where we take a decision, if possible. But if that decision is taken for us, we have to accept it if we are part of that system. It's as simple as that.